So I have an original M1 Mac Mini base. I upgraded the RAM to the max I could at 16 gigabytes, and it only has 256 gigabytes of storage. These specs are kind of terrible, honestly. 32 gigs of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage should be the minimum. Anyways, I had been doing a lot of video and music production on it, but it wasn't cutting it anymore. I had a five minute video export take about three hours and 41 minutes, and some of the music plugins I were using were kind of heavy for it. So I bought a Mac Studio. I know, the M4 version is around the corner, but I really couldn't wait any longer. But now I have this decently fast Mac Mini here, and I don't know what to do with it. I could try to trade it into Apple, or I could try to sell it third party, looks like for about $230. Not bad considering the M4 Mini will blow this one out of the water. Besides, this could be useful with its fast M1 chip and low power draw. Maybe this could be a piece of my home lab I want to build out. That's when I remembered all about Asahi Linux. I was very intrigued when I heard about it but I didn't want to mess up mine as, as it was in heavy use. But now that I have backed up everything and transferred all my data to my shiny new Mac Studio, I think I'm ready to try it out. What's the worst that could happen? So to install, we head over to asahilinux.org. I think when it first came out, it was based on Arch. That's pretty based, by the way. But now it's based on Fedora 41, which I'm okay with. Looks like my M1 Mac Mini is mostly supported, just no USB-C displays or Thunderbolt 4 support. Okay, all we gotta do is copy paste this command right into our terminal. My favorite thing to do. But first, I went ahead and did a hard reset on my M1 Mac Mini. I basically wiped the drive and reinstalled Mac OS. Now that's because Asahi Linux sets up as a dual boot, so I wanted to give as much space as I could to my Linux partition. All right, now we can paste this executable directly into our shell and run it. All right, all we got to do is follow the instructions here. Perfect. My sudo password to a shell script I pasted from the internet. Okay, I want R for resized. Nope, looks like I missed the min option, but I think that percent is close enough. Awesome. Made a free partition to install Asahi Linux on. Let's, of course, choose F to install an OS. Now, there's a few options here, but I went with GNOME because I already had planned to upgrade or change to Sway. I should point out here, Asahi is only supporting Wayland, so i3 Windows Manager may not work. But there is an X Wayland package that's available for X11 legacy apps. Oh, and Max, I want this to take up all the available space. I don't plan on using this Mac for anything other than Linux. Okay, this will take a few minutes. Once completed, you'll need to enter your pseudo password again. Nice, I should be pretty much done. You know what, I'll be nice to report my install. Well, okay, this is a scary warning. We should take heed of what's to come. I'm gonna even go ahead and take a pic with my phone just to be sure. All right, if you follow these instructions, you'll be in your new Asahi Linux install. Okay, nice. This is kind of actually nice and snappy here. I'm running Sway with Waybar, and I got Kitty. Let's go ahead and see the fast fetch. Nice. Let's see if Podman works on Asahi. So let's see. Yum search Podman. Nice, there is one. Let's go ahead and install it. Oh, already installed. Never mind. Did that come pre-installed? I don't remember doing it. All right, let's see if it works. Podman, pod run, podman run, detached, TTYs, set a port 8080 to 80. We're gonna go up, oh, well, yep, we'll be TCP, docker.io, slash library, and HTTPD. Nice. All right, let's open up a terminal, Firefox, and see if that works. That was localhost 8080. It works, awesome. You know, overall, I'm happy with this build. Now I'm gonna have to start building my home lab now. Awesome, thanks for watching. Do you have an M chip Mac you've upgraded or plan on upgrading to Asahi Linux? And be sure to subscribe, like, share, and comment to defeat that algo monster.